New York City office of an investment bank. And so this was early 1994. NAFTA had just come into effect. Uh, and you know, I headed down there uh, and began a life learning about my new city of 20 million people, Mexico City, and also about the financial industry. And so in those first months, I was an equity analyst. That was my new role. So I dove into the balance sheets of many, several Mexican companies, you know, trying to figure out where they'd been, where they were, where they might be going. And then after a few months of doing this, I was pulled away from my research reports and thrown onto our trading desk. One of our traders was going on an extended honeymoon. So for the following month, uh, I sat there on the phones looking at my Bloomberg terminal uh, and every day negotiating with my Mexican counterparts at Mexican banks uh, to give me just a little bit of a better deal for the new gringa um, as we traded tens of millions of dollars of, of government denominated debt, of, government, of peso and dollar denominated debt in Mexico. Now from these different roles at work, I saw the real enthusiasm of foreign investors but also Mexicans in what was happening in Mexico. So I'd go and talk to CEOs or CFOs of companies in Mexico and they would tell me about the big expansion plans they had for their company and, and how they were going to go global now that Mexico was opening up. And in the markets, I saw the money pouring in into the bonds, but also into the newly privatized companies that were listed on the stock exchange. And when I got outside of the office, I saw the enthusiasm in Mexico more broadly. And so, you know, I'd go and visit companies, so I traveled around, a lot around Mexico, and the planes were always packed. Uh, you know, go out to dinner, the restaurants were full. And Mexico City itself was incredibly noisy because of all the construction, all the things that were happening in the city. Now, in 1994, it wasn't just economics that was booming, it was also politics. Uh, this was a presidential election year, uh, and the PRI that was in control, the ruling party that had been in power for 60 plus years, it was doing what it always did. It was pouring all of the government resources, the financial resources, all of its political machinery, all of its ties to the media and the like behind its anointed candidate. Now, it wasn't an easy year, actually, in Mexico. It started off on January 1st with NAFTA coming into effect, but also a group called the Zapatistas, which were a guerrilla group wearing black ski masks and carrying AK-47s, coming into several towns in southern Mexico and denouncing the corruption of the Mexican state. And a few months after that, the PRI's presidential candidate, the heir apparent, was assassinated in Tijuana along the border. And months after that, the head of the PRI, he too was killed 